Right now, if we take a look at our image view in our project, we notice that we can't currently zoom in. So we can test that by holding down the Alt key or the Option key and trying to pinch together. We see that nothing happens. Well, we want to add the functionality in our application for zooming to occur. As we become developers and we're presented with a new task, how can we approach it? Well, one of the first steps we can do is check the documentation. So let's do that. We're going to go to Help in Xcode and we go to Documentation API Reference. And I've gone ahead and searched for UI Scroll View. Um, make sure that you find the UI Scroll View class reference. So if we were searching for this, we want to make sure that we see UI Scroll View with a little C in front. And if we look down here, um, we see that a UI Scroll View class can have a delegate. And for zooming and panning to work, the delegate must implement both view for zooming in scroll view and scroll view did end zooming. Uh, in addition, the maximum and minimum zoom scale must be different. So this is a hint that we need to implement this delegate. Notice that this brings up the idea of a delegate, which brings us back to the UI view slash controller interaction we talked about when we were going over MVC. Our UI scroll view must return which view it wants to zoom. If there were five unique views on the screen and you started pinching, which would zoom? What if you had them stacked on top of each other? In order to answer this question, we must implement the UI scroll view delegate protocol. What this means is that we delegate the responsibility of telling which view should zoom to our view controller. Since the UI scroll view can be used in many different applications, the view that it will zoom will surely be different depending on which one is used. Henceforth, we delegate the responsibility to a different object, our view controller. We've seen this similar behavior before when we were using our UI table view. Our UI table view asks the question of how many rows should I display and what should I display in each row. These questions were delegated to our view controller. Since we used a UI table view controller, the data source connections were already set. But in our case with our UI scroll view, we're going to have to expl explicitly set these connections in our space image view controller to tell our UI view controller what to know.